Hello guys, welcome to Fusion Round 60. Today we're gonna continue the exercise in Eva Gears mechanism. So open your Fusion, let's go. I will hide the base and the cam. Today we're gonna make the Geneva gear. So let's go. The first thing we're gonna make is make this construction line here and this construction line. And we'll make this construction line here with their degrees and make this circle. This circle here with this geometry, okay? So open your fusion, let's go. Go to create. Select the top plane. Select the line, construction line, make a construction line here. And make another construction line here. And one more construction line here. That is okay. Go to sketch dimension, the angle between these two construction line is 30 degrees. That is okay. Now select the circle, click on the midpoint. in the midpoint we make a construction circle here with 115.47 millimeters of geometry that's okay now let's see the sketch here we'll make these circles here this radius okay we'll make a circle with 45 millimeters of geometry so go to select circle, it's not a construction circle, okay, select at this point, make a circle here with 45 millimeters of geometer, that's okay. Go to create, select a circular pattern here, select this, the center point is the midpoint here, the quantity is 6, that's okay, we have this. Now we'll make a slot here, okay. The radius is seven is three point five millimeters. So let's go. Go to create select a slot. First, oh, sorry, first let's make this circle, okay, with fifty six point five millimeters of geometer. Select circle. Construction line here, make a circle here with 56.5 millimeters. That's okay. Go to create, select a slot, center point slot here. Click on this point, make a slot here. Seven millimeters here. It's not a construction, okay. Red okay. Now go to sketch dimension. The distance between this point here and the midpoint is 50 millimeters. I have this. Now select line. Click on this point, make a line to this circle. Make a line to this circle here. You have this now. What I'm gonna make is go to create a circular pattern, select this profile here, and the quantity here is six. Right, okay. We have this, we want to trim this, okay. Just finish the sketch, go to extrude. The extrude this is five millimeters. Select this profile here, okay. Extrude this five millimeters. And operation new body press, okay. We have this. Now, 
that's sorry. Now we're gonna make this this revolve here, okay, and this cut here. So this cut, okay. Go to create this cut, select the front plane here. Select a line, click on this point, make a, a line here with 10.1 millimeter. Is okay. Now select the line again here 2.5 millimeters, 5 millimeters here, 2.5 millimeters here. Here is 5.1 millimeters. You can close this here. Okay. Now go to create, select the uh, project include project. Select this face. Press OK. I have this line here. Okay. Select uh, line. Click on the midpoint here. Make a line here with one millimeter. No, sorry. Select a line, make a line here with one millimeter, and make a line here. Make this, okay? Make this rectangle. Now go to Constraints, horizontal vertical, select this line and this line, okay? And click in this point and this point here. No, sorry, in this point. I have this, this point with this point. That's okay, we have this. One millimeter. And finish the sketch. Now go to Revolt, select this profile first. The axis is this line. We have this operation joint, press OK. Show the sketch 5 again. We need to take this, this profile here. OK. Show the value again. Show the origin. Go to revolve. Select this line to revolve. This axis, OK. The blue axis here. The operation here is cut, press OK. Hide the SCAT5, add the origin, we have this. That's OK. Go to the body tree, create component from this body. We will call this the Never Gear, OK. Let's move this a little bit. That's okay. Now go to join, select this edge here, and select this edge. And press OK. Oh, oh, the motion here is revolute, okay? Press OK. Let's put some color here. Press letter A on your keyboard. Maybe it's a little colorful to, to see better, okay? That's okay. We have this. Now what we're gonna make is go to assembly and enable all contacts okay let's go to basic click here with the right button of the mouse and click in brown reposition that's okay. And here is okay. Now we're gonna make this move automatically. So 
go to assembly select the motion studio select the revolut one okay uh, just make this in the so this joint here Put this in the zero okay zero that's okay go to assembly select the motion study select the revolute here is in the zero click in this point in the 100 the angle is 360 just press play We'll change the side here at minus 360. Press play. Press play here. You can change the speed and click here to make this repeat. Let's press play. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching the video, subscribe to my channel, and bye-bye.